Hello, and welcome back to the revolution. I am your host, Reaper. And today, we are going to play Farming Simulator. Yay! Now you guys knew that when you clicked on it. Don't act like you didn't. So, we are going to play on the European map. Uh, has Balloon, or, yeah, you know, however you say it. I'm not going to get hash brackets tax. But, since this is the let's play, we're just doing a normal uh, cheap farm, or not cheap farm, rather, uh, uh, you know, basic startup equipment, whole nine yards. <laughs> so we are going to. Check our field type. We harvested required. Needs plowing. So we're gonna try and get away with the cultivator this time, but next time we'll plow it. And obviously, I know I'm using workers. Hey, we should have. Oh, 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 oh! Hold on. Nope. Nope plant that we are not doing seasonal growth because I just I don't like it so you know what we're gonna put oats in they got a pretty good resale price and we're gonna make a uh, flower with them what's flower going for 1400 we'll get some straw out of this so so we are going to put some oats in the ground. All right. Now, obviously, we're starting out. I want to do a lot more productions in this Let's Play, because, you know, most of my survival series is just about getting the job done. But I would really like to um, do more productions and stuff like that. So, we got three medium tractors. Well, actually, let's go in the store and see what we got. See on sun sale first. Ooh, bulk carrier. Hey, that's for a Ford pickup truck. Oh, this one's a wrapper, too. Oh, it's a round baler. For how much? 30 grand? We're going to get straw off this. Um, I had not planned on using a round baler, but that's a big ba is that a variable size baler no it's a single size however you know for 30 grand that's not bad but that's not what we're, we were in there for what were we in here for oh we were checking what we own so we got a small tractor which we're in our styre and we got two medium tractors we got a vulture and a massey ferguson that's a nice massey ferguson got a truck basic pickup you and I both know we're gonna get a big truck here eventually honestly you know you sell if we sell the trailer and the car we could afford a big truck right now with a tipper on it and that's what we just run however all right we're gonna sell this cuz we're never gonna use that there's just no point cultivator now we have a cultivator but we do need a plow at some point Got our basic cedar, which will do fine for now in a couple of weeks. Alright. I really kinda... We need a baler. I mean, we start with 100 grand. We can take out a small loan, get a baler, and stuff like that if we need to. Ideally, this is the baler we want for grass. Or, baler for straw and stuff. It's a square baler. It's got a rake built in. So this is a $78,000 Bailey. That's not bad at all. What else we got in here? This one's a good Bailey, too. <coughs> Sorry. And the Crone's a good Bailey, too. I think the Crone's a square Bailey, though. Yeah, and it makes big square bales. Uh, actually... Hmm. Well, 
don't think that price is right. But for us, that's actually might be a standard price for what we need. I do not like the single wheel. We will go with. Let's go with standard. We are going to buy this. It costs us two grand. Oop, no, we don't need to. I want to try something real quick. So it's supposed to be... Get out of the tractor real quick. It's supposed to, apparently that don't work. So you're supposed to do this, this, and this? No. Hey, let me see if I can find the control real quick. This is supposed to pay for delivery from the shop. So, let me down at the bottom all your mod controls are. Auto load, super person, which I have disabled. Super strength. I have that one disabled too. Weird. Anyway. Yeah. Um. I swore it was Shift Alt S. All right, hold on. We'll be right back in a minute. All right, and we're back. Got it to work. Bought us a hayrick. This is literally just a. It's not a windrower. It just rakes it all to one side. So you just go around and around and around the field a bunch. So we used to use up home. Oh, looks like our, our. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I backed out. So everybody stopped. Minor details. Hopefully. We do need a plow. Alright. We should just be able to start everybody back where they were going. And it shouldn't bother nobody. Alright. So we were looking at equipment. So we got us a baler. It's at the shop, but we'll go get it here in a minute. And I kind of, I almost want to get this round baler. Now, mind you, we have a square baler. But we could use a round baler. Because we can make silage bales with this. It wraps. And for fun, er, Oops, almost four. And for 30 grand, I mean, we can't argue that. I set our foil color. We usually use purple. Let's use red this time. No, nah, I don't like that red. Um, I won't be able to find him in case we drop him. Let's do yellow. Spend a little in delivery. All right, so we get the square baler. I'm waiting for Sarah here to have a full grain tank before we go do anything. We got Elizabeth. I'm gonna say, you know, I changed the names of the workers. And they didn't stick. So anyway, go back to tractor. All right, so got a baler. Now what we need is, we need a bale trailer, and we are going to use, uh, I know we got a baler that wraps, we are going to use just this plain old auto load one here, with separator in it, and you know what, we're not going to put the separator in it, not this time, we can always add it later, okay, and then, Probably ought to have a general use trailer. Actually, there's a car trailer. That everybody kind of uses. 
It's this one, but I feel like I've seen an auto-load version of that one for roughly the same price. And this could move all of our bale, or not our bales. Well, I mean, it could move bales, but we're just going to buy it standard. Hold on, not bale auto-loading. No, it's just bale auto-loading. Okay. All right. Make sure they're not stacking on top of each other. Uh, they kind of are. I don't see that last trailer, so I'm assuming we ran out of... Oh, that's here. Cool. We're going to use that square baler for... Um, you know what I'm trying to say. Don't mind me. And I actually think this wheat... Whatever we're harvesting here, we're going to replant this as grass. So we'll need a mower eventually. Um, let's take a look at our finances. So... We owe nothing to the bank, so what do we really still need to get moving? A bigger tipper would be nice, so figure one bigger tipper and a big, big tractor, or at least a decent sized tractor, so we could sell the pickup get all right so let's say 500 grand and I guess our goal is to pay off let's say um hmm. tell you what let's do a million and we can really buy some weird shit. And what we'll do is we'll set a goal of paying off a minimum of 15000 an episode. Because, I mean, a million dollar farm loan seems like a lot, but isn't really a lot nowadays. So, I'm going to go in here. I have no idea what we just talked about buying. Oh, we need a tipper, we need a trailer, and we're going to buy a bigger tractor. And we need a mower if we're going to do grass. And that's kind of it for grass. We're going to do animals and stuff, but for right now, let's... I'm buy this. Don't ask. So, up here, we are going to get mowers. I really want this one, but I'm not spending that kind of money. So, we're going to buy the John Deere. Wow. Uh, ew. Mega yellow. There we go. We got the John Deere. And then we, we need a big tractor. I usually go for the 7R series. I like them. They got a front PTO. They're a pretty versatile tractor. However, I always get one of these at some point. And it's a Fendant 1000 Vario. It's got 517 horsepower. I think I downloaded a mod with the Fendant. So we could have different settings. We got Dutes Far. Alright. We got an aggro. No, we didn't. Apparently, I didn't get a big fendant mod. This Massey Ferguson is pretty cool. Alright. This is 329, and this one is 329. So, let's get this one. It's a fendant. But we get more options with it. I don't want, this is going to be our, our all-around tractor. We don't want nothing too aggressive. We get the communal, just because. Get the fendant. 
Oh, Force Cage. Front Fender and Force Cage. We'll do the Front Fender and Force Cage. We want the big setup, the 517 horsepower. We'll use Fender Green. Black everything else out. There we go. We bought a big tractor. Now, by the tipper, which y'all know. Actually, so do we want to do a truck and trailer or the dump truck right now? We'll do the dump truck for right now. We're going to get one of these. Don't ask. This is just for pallets. I know we got that trailer, but that plus that trailer does a really good job. And honestly, I'm thinking about doing skips instead of the big dump truck. Because we always do the big truck. And yeah, it's nice that it's got 100,000 liter capacity, but it's a little unrealistic. I would rather get an IT runner. Put trailer hitch on it. everything else out. Okay, that's kind of cool. Alright, then we'll buy a couple of skips instead of doing a... and then we'll upgrade to a Mac or whatever. Decide. Yeah, uh, parking lot's starting to get full over there. Alright, so let's just get a couple of skips, and then we're going to save the rest of this money for right now, just to hold off on what's going. we got to go up and we got to get that um, <sighs> baler. We need seed. We don't have any seed or fertilizer or anything. So probably what we'll do is we'll go take, we'll take the aggro truck up. We'll get some fertilizer and some bales. We bought a mower. What am I in here? skip. I honestly don't know if skip boxes are in here. There we go. What do we got here? We got... Uh, I think that's 45,000 liters. Not 100. Yeah, because that, that's... No, that's 1,500. So that's... That's not very much. How much does youth hold? 48. So we're going to customize. We're going to paint them our colors. And then we are going to buy two of them. Two big ones. And then that's cool. And then we'll buy two of the short ones. No, we're only buying one short. Just in case, because if you guys remember correctly, we have a problem with not reaching over stuff. Okay. So that's all set. And we got a full grain tank. We're going to save this little tipper trailer for right now. And yes, I left a lot of money because we're going to put down a couple of placeables. I got a ton of new production options. So, when he's filling me, I'll show you guys. Go down here. So, you got production. I added a bunch of stuff. Like, we got a seed production. So, we are going to make our own seeds now. I guess we put it out, we could put it out back at the grain silo. Here's that. Newer heap, 
with the manure can. This is kind of cool. This dries this into solid fertilizer. It's pretty good sized. We don't have any digest it right now, so it's kind of silly. A composting facility I wanted to learn how to do. This is just a straight up bio plant. It's just, it's passive income basically. You put straw in it, it makes electric. Bale chipper, which I think is, I don't think any of these are new ones you guys haven't seen yet. This is the windmill I like to get, and I'm going to put it right oh, 180 degrees. I'm going to put it right, oh, right there with enough room to dry by. Excellent. This is the new carpentry shop that produces all sorts of new stuff. Like That's part of a mod that actually just makes new stuff. So we got a sugar mill grain mill, new spinnery, new food factories, dairy. This packing facility, I'm not really sure. You you take your goods here and it makes them and it repackages them and somehow they're worth more. Got a sawmill. I didn't see a ton of trees. Got a couple of different sawmills. So this makes seed and fertilizers. So maybe we put one of these in? We could, oh, that would probably, I mean, I probably can't interact with the road. Um, we get all this here and here. All right, so I don't see any triggers in the back. But just in case, we will, I don't know, I also don't want to overload from the road. So we'll put this in. I don't know what the other object to overlap, so we'll just, we're just going to place it. So that's cool. And then, so this is something later on down the road I want to get into potato sorting. So we got a potato sorter and a potato, potato bagger. This is for sugar beets, which we'll look into when we start doing sugar beets. This is a TMR facility, which for cows, we don't do, oh, eh, we're blocking traffic. Uh, we don't do much cow stuff. And then these are all, these are just like basic, you bring them something in the these are like all-in-one facilities which is nice but I don't this is a potato shed you take it potatoes and other stuff and it makes food and stuff that's kind of cool this is just these this is literally you just take whatever you make at the farm and you make stuff I we may might put one of them in for crap that we don't know what to do with. But I really like that red one. Oh, this is a bakery. We are going to put this, we are going to build this. Put it right here on the grass. That's cool. What's this? Dairy fruits. Oh, so I want to do a greenhouse, so we're going to put one of these in too. I'm not going to do the same color because that would be weird. And then we'll put them both in there. So we'll do a greenhouse too. And careful how much we're going to Oil production, we got the thing making oil. Cereals. So this makes cereal, which we do, we do make a fair amount of oats. No, we're, you know what, we're going to hold off on that. And for silos, we are going to put... This is for pallet storage, when we make stuff. This is going to go right over here. go 
over by the road, so we have to load it. It's good to go. There was something in here I was going to... Oh, no, it was right there. So this is a hay loft, so we don't need one of those, but... This steel silo produces silage. That's not really what we want. There's one in here. So that's just a plain hayloft. That's a plain hayloft. Maybe it's in production. I missed it. So this thing turns grass into hay or silage. So I think we should have one of these. And then that way, I mean, we're going to make hay, but this can be making hay or whatever when we're not, you know, over winter and stuff. There. Oh, shit, that was 100 grand. I didn't know it was that much. And then we were what? We were in production selling points, which we don't really need. These are all just prefab stuff, which we'll, we're going to, because we bought the truck, we're going to go up and back and forth to the um, store to do that. All right, now we want to put a couple of greenhouses in. Now, is there a rock behind me, probably? Yep. Oh, shoot. This thing's full. All right. Uh. Where do we want to put our greenhouses? I don't know how far over that way we own. I don't know if we own that grass field or not. Oh, bugger. You know what? We're going to tip side. Can we tip right side? No. Right side. This poor little tractor. Put some wheat in our uh, windmill. Actually, I think that should keep it. And of course, it didn't keep that. Sorry. Actually, I actually want to check something. I think I disabled all my stupid presets because I backed out. Yeah, every last one. Hold on one second. We don't have one of these, but we'll set this up with it in here. Yeah, we don't. I think that's what that's supposed to be. Keep heading that way, dude. All right. Rolls. Here we go. Escape. Escape. Alright, so we're gonna run over here, grab our hook lift trailer. Which is this one. Grab us skip. I'm assuming our other skips and stuff are still at the store. Because we ran out of room.
for whatever reason, they're backwards. Like, off is on and on is off. Man, I wish doing hook lift in real life was that easy. Alright, so. she got enough space to finish. He's done. show we're loading all right so we want to for I think I don't know I want to do greenhouses obviously we just set a production point for selling stuff so sorry we still need a water tank but I think really what we need to do is move some of this stuff out of the way so, we need a water tank. I guess what we're going to plan on doing is... I don't know if I can use AI for this. We're going to try. Ooh, wrong way. The car's got around. I thought this thing unfolded. Yeah, we're just gonna let the AI worker do the field and see what it looks like. Right? So, on that note, let's just buy this one. Let's check and see what I know we own three fields. Now where are we? So thirty forties ours. Oh no. Forty is ours. That's the one we cultivated, that's the one we're planting, that's the one we're harvesting. So thirty nine is that grass field. How much do they want for it? Hundred and twelve thousand. That's not bad. We could wait to buy the greenhouse. Yeah, let's buy it. Let me have grass. Yes. You know what we didn't buy, though? We did not buy a fertilizer spreader. That's alright. My dumb butt forgot fertilizer spreaders. Like, a bunch of my playthroughs. So now we have one. Specifically for when I forget. We don't have to spend the extra money because we are having uh, workers do it. Cool. So all right, 
it's August. So we are going to be using oil cedar radish on a couple of these. I'm assuming she's on a seed. But this is the one we just bought. Oh, it's not grass. Oops, that was my bad. Okay, what is it then? It looks like grass in my defense. Sugar beet. have to deal with that later. Alright, so this is, whoa, put tighter back on. This is done. We're going to go get some seeds here in a minute. Not very many seeds because we only got 10 grand left, so we're going to have to sell something. I guess this episode we're going to sell whatever wheat's left in this uh, combine. thousand liters it is is what we'll sell. Yeah. I'm glad they stopped being growing. Because it would have been silly. That was not the what I thought it was. It's what I wanted, but not like to the extent I wanted. I wanted just a plain right hand. Like, like a hay rake, but not that size. I wanted just a standard hay rake. That's not what I wanted, which is fine. Put the harvester away. Yeah. Not what I wanted. So I'll set it on the ground. Get out of here. All right, so this is done. This field needs seeded too now. We could do this one in grass. So we could, we did that one in oats. So that would be all right. At some point we need a bigger seeder. I guess we'll plan on selling the straw. Okay, so you're out the seed. You're just done, which is fine. Alright, I'm going to pause for a second and get myself situated. Be right back with you. Alright, and we're back, sort of. Oh, hey, since we don't know this field, we're going to drive across it. So, there was some technical difficulties. I bought us some seed, drove all the way up there to pick it up. Remember, we're having stuff delivered now. So, whoop. And, well, a bag of lime. But, I was up there, and oddly enough, one of our tanks was still up there. So, or skips. So, I asked them to kindly put it on the back of the forklift. And now it's here. Alright, cool. Alright, so we also brought the baler back, hooked it up to the fendant got it bailing, remembered that the whole reason the thing that's going on here is we're out of seeds. So we're going to drive this over here. Like I said, we've got to meet our quota. So. Alright. We're going to need you. This is my favorite little truck. I wish it was a little longer.
fill the cedar up. Hey, open your cedar. I don't know if this thing will hold back or not. Not a driver in that. Let's fix that. Okay. So this other field, we're going to throw oil seed in. And we're going to have a bald spot this field. So, I'm pretty sure this needs lime, this field, and we're going to put grass in it. And so, we're also going to sell this tipper, because now we have our skips. So, we're going to sell this tipper, which was a good tipper. We're also going to sell that rake, because, yeah. That was my bad. No. We're gonna go repay one, two, three, fifteen thousand dollars. Look at that. We're gonna finish up the episode with me bailing. These last couple of bales up. Looks like we're gonna get about five bales. I'm doing as big as bales as we can. Um, alright, so, turn on baler, turn on windrower, so, that field over there we just cultivated, I think, well, I think we're going to plant canola in it, canola is a good decent money crop, I keep forgetting that this baler trails me quite a bit, we're going to end up having to go back down each end. That's alright. Um, so, we'll, we'll do canola in that. We're going to put grass in this one because it's closest to the farm. It's not huge, but it's not tiny. Um, I think because of the fertilizer issue and stuff like that, we've got a decent amount of seed. So... And I got to thinking about that too. We got that seed plant we bought. So I think instead of um, selling that wheat, we are going to turn it into seed. Because that's just where we're at. We're going to need seed. And um, I don't know what we're going to do about sugar beets. Maybe when they come ready to harvest. We'll have enough money to afford the uh, sugar, like, maybe we'll just rent the sugar beet harvester. Eventually for potatoes, I want to get into potatoes and doing a lot of potatoes, I'd like to buy the harvester for that. But sugar beets, as far as I'm concerned for right now, we could just rent. So. to this combo. There's a reason I buy the one that's got the lid on the baler. Because then I can whip around however I want. I don't got to worry about it falling off. Um, obviously, for, you know, labor sake, we are going to need a bigger cedar soon. So, 
that's that's on the list. But other than that, you missed a little bit of wheat, but that's all right. I don't think I'm not gonna drive the combine all the way back out here for this little bit of wheat. All right, now we're just gonna drive down each side, and that'll be it. So. Um, I got some feedback that my Let's Play episodes are a little short at half an hour. So, we're going to run them up to 40 minutes. And see how that goes. And we'll probably do a continuation. Like, one right into the other. And if you notice the time set to regular time. Because I want to get all these fields done and stuff. I don't want to get our fields spaced out too far. I'd like them all to be about the same, so. And there is quite a bit of wheat there. Not enough to make it worth it, but still. Alright, so, I guess I think for, whoa, that was close. I think for next time, we will try to buy that field. So, lift wind drawer, turn off wind drawer, fold wind Lift baler. Turn off baler. Empty baler. And fold baler. Alright, so the baler and wind rower are going to be done for a while. So. I actually don't know if our little hayloft takes bales or not. Whoa. Don't mind me just driving a little haphazard. Alright, so. Alright, let's see what this. Alright, so let's look out some of these production. We'll make the first episode in hour. We'll go over some of these production mills and the GUI for them. Alright, so we get seed and fertilizer factory. So this takes wheat plus liquid fertilizer and gives us seeds. I have sign, but we don't have a lick or slurry. I think it gives it uses slurry too. Yeah. And if we do manure and water will give us some solid. Now, for the regular seed production, it's just wheat and barley gives us seeds. That's good to know. We got our grain mill uh, concurrently um, making wheat flour. Oops. And it'll make some canola oil for us, too. So grass drying. Got zero grass in there. I don't know what spawn is. I think distributing is where it like goes through places. I think that's supposed to be storage. Anyway. So this makes tomato sauce, salad, raisins, and grape juice from lettuce, tomato, and grapes. Makes raisins, obviously. Then... Our bakery... makes noodles from why does this say I don't know why it says spawn I never had that but before does this say the same thing yeah I don't, I don't know where it's spawning to it's supposed to say storing um We'll, we'll figure that out, because once we start producing flour, I'll have to figure out where it's going. Because we can go up here, and once we start producing the flour, it'll tell me. So, alright. That's pretty much it for the production factories. I'm not really sure what's going on with... 
so we can make spaghetti from flour, I guess. But we can also make flour. And this doesn't also doesn't let me. I can act okay, so here we go. We got one flour makes one spaghetti. Uh, oh, this will take wheat and make it into flour. So five wheat equals four flour. Same as the grain meal. Okay. Barley flour, 30 and 23. Barley is not as good. The best flour is either oat or sugar. So maybe we'll plant oats. We're actually going to... So, so the two fields that aren't planted yet are going to get oil seed radish for fertilizer two flour equals one bread that seems kind of high now what do I know all right so I don't all right So, yeah. Just got like a... Oh, there's the trigger. You dump on the side and it pops the pallets out the front. I got it. Alright, let's make some seeds because we're going to run out of seed here for some more. And if we can make it, there's no point in us buying any, right? I think it's gotta be opened. Or maybe put in a smaller vehicle. Is it took it? Yeah, let's check it. It says spawn. Oh, come on, bud. Alright, so it's spawning. But what's it doing with it? 18 liters, 20 liters. It seems to be storing it. I don't know if it's just like spawn is it producing a pallet? I don't know. We also got pallet storage on the other side. Okay. I guess we're gonna put lime in the canola field. We'll put some lime in the coconut. Take it out and let it push the lime in the coconut. Shake it up. Anyway. Obviously, uh, the canola field isn't. We, we don't have enough lime. Or, yeah, lime. We don't have enough lime to. To obviously do the whole field, but. Uh, big bag for what you want your seeds that makes you the lime. That's a bit. It's a two thousand liter line bag. I didn't know I had that much. Here. Well, we might have enough line to do that whole field. All right. Now, if I remember correctly, this thing—if you hit unload—spawns a bag. So. 
you need to switch to fertilizer it shouldn't be a big deal. Eh, we're gonna miss a little bit, that's alright. Still needs plowing. It wasn't blocked by an object, it was just me. Are we done seeding? Man, we're gonna need a bigger seeder sometime. We refilled this thing and we used we used a whole one and a half seeders to do this field. That's a lot. I was like, is he out of line more? Looks like we're going to have to do the ends manually, but that's fine. Well, this is overkill if I've ever seen it, but let's go collect some straw bales. I'm not actually sure how many bales we need. Auto pickup. Just zoom around the field and pick up how many bales. One more. Dos. Three. Crunch. The world may never know. Whoop. Mm -hmm. Sir, get in the trailer. Not on the bumper. Really? That's all we made? Five bales? Uh, how do we check that? No contracts, statistics. Guess not. Five bales produced this session. Well, we got five straw bales. I don't know what we're going to do with them. Does not take solid. That's fine. No, anything. I wonder, does this tell us things we can use? Yes. So if we go down here to compost. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, we added a lot. Yeah, it could stay here. It won't hurt nothing to sit there. Uh, okay, Jimmy lined the field. Nice. Jimmy also ran into it. Oh, I got the wrong tractor. We're gonna need a bigger tractor than this tire, but it'll work for now. It works. I mean, it's a good little tractor. Wow, he didn't use very much lime at all. That means we'll probably be able to lime both this field and that field. We'll actually lime that one before we cultivate it under. Because if one of them needs lime, I'm sure they all need lime. And 
time. We're now at the one hour mark. And you guys are watching me spread lime. Alright, we're going to end the episode here. I'm going to lime this field and the other ones, and we're going to call it an episode. And then we'll reconvene. I'm going to get them all limed. And we're either, I don't know if we're going to. Well, we're going to plant some of them, but we're going to do... I, You know what? We're going to do both of them in oilseed radish, and you guys don't really need to... Don't need to sit there and watch me put oilseed radish down. So, we will get back with you when that's done, and try to figure out what we're doing production-wise and money-wise. And I'm going to let the mills run and stuff, and probably sleep a little, get oil seed radish up out of the ground and then we'll come back at that point we're probably I don't know we're gonna I, we're gonna see what production costs are at night we might go into the red I don't know we'll see I'll let him spread this because he does a way better job than I do. Alright, with that, this is Reaper, signing off. See you guys next time. Bye bye